Hi guys, thanks for checking out this video. In this video, I'm gonna be using a new lure that's on the market. It's a new soft bait, and that is the uh, Mix Sticks designed by Mr. Fish himself. I'm gonna be showing you a couple of rigging options that I use and a couple of retrieval methods that I use as well. So here they are then guys, you've got the uh, stealth uh, worms here and the uh, stealth paddles here. Uh, rigged in different ways and uh, starting with the uh, stealth worm then I've just put them on a raise uh, 5 weedless hook and uh, added a little bit of weight to it myself the uh, stealth paddles then you've got the option of doing a uh, normal jig head um, I've used Berkeley in this case uh, some Berkeley ones from Mr. Fish which uh, seem to at the moment whilst I've been uh, rigging up some laws for the kayak and stuff um, they seem to fit pretty much on any softy which is good so uh, a nice universal jig head there um, the other option is uh, using uh, a weedless um, weighted hook or uh, weightless um, in this case I've gone for the uh, hooks that I received with my uh, gravity sticks uh, a while back so uh, I'm trying them out tonight they're quite nice hooks you've got enough uh, um, gape on the on the hook and, and the law for the fish to take and uh, still connect with the hook and uh, yeah like I say they're weighted three gram and uh, they come with a hitchhiker coil as well which is handy for keeping the law in place the other option then is these uh, weedless uh, jig heads from uh, Mr. Fish these are seven gram ones and uh, these will work pretty nicely over some of the ground that I want to fish uh, this evening and uh, into the morning that's the uh, the uh, new laws that are out on the market and uh, I'm gonna head down a little bit further down the beach now and uh, give them a blast and see how we get on. So this is some of the ground that I'm going to be using over. As you can see it's, uh, it's quite weedy. Some of this bootlace weed. I think it's bootlace. Little crab on the move there. There's plenty of food here for any uh, bass coming in on the flood. And uh, it gets shallower and it gets deeper. Big ditches. And uh, I'll be fishing over this probably at first light. You can see here again it gets moved a little bit deeper. There might be some fishing already. Big worm beds as well. Look at all that. Hopefully you can see it. It's all like lug worm. Stuff like that. Loads of blow lug castings there. So it's all worth the bash over that stuff. Not sure if you can see that. Lobster just there, walking around. Really uh, snaggy ground. Probably ideal for the uh, lobsters and stuff like that. Not bad size one either. Right guys, so I've made my way down the beach now. Um, and there's a little bit of wind that's uh, cropped up. So uh, if, um, if it interferes with the footage, then I do apologize. Um, but I'm going to try my best and uh, see if I can winkle out a couple of fish now that I'm down here. So yeah, with the uh, stealth worm then, it's literally a case of cast it out and uh, just do a uh, slow, steady retrieve in. Sometimes just completely stop it, give it a couple of twitters and then a little wind again. So just nice and slowly bringing it in, really slowly. It's almost like you're retrieving a squid jig, pretty much, if you do much squidding. Just imparting a couple of twitches on the law there. Pretty much all you're doing on the retrieve is just taking up the uh, slack line when you're doing that. Just a twitch every so often. If you feel it drop into like a bit of weed or something, just give it a twitch and it'll, it'll dart out of it. Or well, it should do anyway. You're obviously going to find the odd snag here and there, but majority of the time if you feel it get a little bit tight and it's gone in some weed or 
under a crevice of a rock if you just give it a little twitch then nine times out of ten you'll get it back uh, just a constant twitch can sometimes entice a bite so that's yeah that's another uh, retrieval method that I like to use so I'm probably not going to uh, blast this one out just yet as the water's still really shallow where I'm fishing and that tide's just about to turn so uh, probably later on in the session I'll use this but if I don't get a chance to um, the retrieval methods that I use with this is uh, a straight retrieve and uh, a sink and draw method this works really well um, you can just bring it over uh, boulders and stuff like that but today uh, I'm fishing over all sorts so probably end up losing it so the uh, stealth paddle then just rigged on uh, a regular jig head this one here being the uh, Berkeley one um, I won't be able to use this this session but a nice sink and draw method with this works pretty well um, it's pretty much the same as you would a savage gear if you've used uh, savage gear sand eels before this is pretty much the same thing uh, when it's rigged like this how you're going to be using it on these jig heads um, it is nice though because because the uh, profile of the law is quite thin you can actually uh, put it on some smaller jig heads if you want to go slightly lighter but it doesn't look out of place on a 30 30 gram uh, Berkeley jig head so when it's running through the water on uh, just a straight retrieve the law really does wobble there's a massive wobble action to this uh, much more than I've seen on uh, most of the soft plastics that I've used before so uh, you know people go on about rolling laws and uh, especially with hard laws yeah it's got rolling action then this uh, this softy actually rolls like mad so here's the uh, stealth paddle and uh, I've rigged this on a uh, Savage Gear uh, Gravity Sticks weedless hook. Um, it's the one that's weighted with three grams on it. Uh, so I'm gonna chuck this out now and just go through what I like to use with this lure. So once I've pinged it out, obviously weighted three grams, so uh, it's gonna be sinking as soon as you drop it down. And uh, I can feel it just bumping over snags as I'm reeling in. Um, with this paddle tail then I've noticed to really get that paddle working you do have to go a little bit quicker than usual um, But you can keep the rod tip low like I am now and uh, bump it along the bottom or you can uh, raise the rod tip after casting it out and it should scoot along the surface And it gives you a nice little wake as it's coming in and you can see that paddle paddle tail giving it a bit of a helicopter as it's coming in so guys first light's almost on its way now um, I can see that it's getting a little bit of sun up on the uh, east side of the island so uh, yeah it shouldn't be too long now so after running for a quick uh, quick preview of some of the uh, retrieval methods then that I use um, I'm gonna put them into practice now and uh, fish the first light using some of them methods and uh, hopefully find a fish Everyone's going to have their uh, own personal preferences and stuff with uh, softies and, and laws and stuff like that. But I, I find the, uh, like a stick bait, I prefer using a stick bait um, at night. It's fairly straightforward and uh, I'll be honest, I'm quite a lazy law angler. I just like cast out reel in. Um, don't like doing too much that involves twitching and stuff like that unless I'm like ras fishing or something like that. But anything that's, uh, that's my preferred way anyway. If I can cast it out and just reel it in, uh, I'm more than happy with that. So uh, with the stick bait, just casting it out, giving it the odd twitch here and there. But predominantly, most of the fish that I've had have literally, I've not even been moving the law. I've just reeled a little bit and then slowed right down, almost to a stop and getting walloped. So uh, yeah, I kind of prefer using the stick bait, to be honest. Oh, he says that as he gets a really good bite on the... Uh, on the paddle tail then. Oh, bugger, little bugger, little bugger. Well, there we go, guys, I'm in. Doesn't feel like a bad fish. It's not huge. And that was literally right at my feet. Not a bad one. Not a bad one to start off with. 
not very big but uh still fish is a fish so uh, i'm happy with that and that was just on a uh, steady retrieve no twitches whatsoever nice and slow with the uh weedless paddle tail that's nice to uh get one on the uh, first outing with these laws and uh how easy is that literally cast out really slow retrieve and you're reaping the rewards let's see if we can get another one you go mate and I can see the uh, little wake created by the law as it's coming in and the paddles rocking backwards and forwards and the laws actually going side to side itself like I say this thing really does roll really does roll Oh, no. I'm reeling that in like absolutely daydreaming. Just, oh, no. <laughs> but no, he, he slammed that. That came right out the water as well. I seen the fish. Probably looked about four or five pound that. Would have been happy with that. If you're not already on it, uh, check out the uh, Facebook group Saltwater Law Fishing as well as being full of uh, anglers with a lot of experience um, they can give you the right pointers on there if you've not done this sort of fishing before. If you want to buy the uh, mixed sticks then head on over to www.mrfishjersey.com uh, there you'll be able to find all your weedless hooks, your uh, mixed sticks, your paddle tails and the worms and uh, any uh, equipment that you might need to uh, get yourself rigged up to go out and uh, target some bass. Between the saltwater law fishing team, the admins there, Mr Fish and myself here on Fish Island TV, we've got a few things planned coming up so make sure that you're on the saltwater law fishing page to uh, get more information. Uh, there's going to be some prizes handed out and uh, yeah it looks like it's going to be uh, fun during September, October, November and December this year. So uh, get on the page and uh, check out any information that's going to be coming through soon. I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, if you enjoyed the video then don't forget to hit the like button and uh, subscribe to the channel, that would be much appreciated. Until the next video, until the next bass session, tight lines, catch you soon.